Hello, my dear J warriors, specially preparing for 2025 and 2026 onwards. A major revolution may happen in education. Well, and guess what? Who is leading? J. Yes, you heard it right. In fact, a lot of committees and research and studies which are being done are actually taking examples of how the J exam is being conducted and how we can implement the same in other examinations but having said that even j exam might have some minor changes in the upcoming years because a lot of study is being done right now and i will show you all the relevant official news articles and the official notices also as well as the committees as to what might change in the upcoming days and the upcoming years so one of the most important thing before we proceed ahead is you subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel for the latest updates, latest information, only facts, no rumors at all from your captain Shreya sir, your physics master teacher on this channel. And do me a favor, smash the like button so that YouTube also understands that you are interested for J and preparation like that or else it will show you unnecessary videos which might distract you. So that's the way YouTube algorithm works and welcome all the students joining in live and maybe the parents too. What are we going to discuss in this particular video is what is the committee uh, which is being set up, what changes are we expected online, number of attempts, what will change from 2025 and 2026, all of these things in this video. Number one thing, recently you might have seen on uh, probably even heard in the news that the NTA director has been changed. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, yep, the director was changed. Why? Because of a lot of scandals and a lot of scams which happened. The paper leak happened, paper cheating happened. And this happened in multiple exams, not just NEET, but also NEET PG and so many other things. And that's the reason why the director was fired. And now we have a new team altogether, which is completely fresh and very, very capable hopefully, and they should be able to conduct the exams properly. This year, apart from very few minor incidents here and there, J exam was more or less smooth, except there was one part where in January, the number of students in a particular shift were way, way higher and the competition was immensely high and some minor problems even in some April shift. But other than that, it was pretty much smooth. Next important change which is happening is the Ministry of Education has set up a very high level committee of experts under the chairmanship of Dr. K. Radhakrishnan. Who is Dr. K. Radhakrishnan? He is the former chairman of ISRO. Many of you might have seen him on TV also. And he is also from, you know, chairman of BOG from IIT Kanpur. Why has he been hired? Because he is very, very well educated. He has very good experience. And under him also, there is a very good committee and team members who have been set up for a transparent, smooth and for a fair conduct of examination. We need the exam to be perfectly fair without any leak, without any cheating, without any malpractices. We want the exam to happen very smoothly as in admit card is out, brochure is out, syllabus in it is intact, no errors in the question, time of the paper is set and no problems in the software. All right, the result is declared at the proper time, shifts are arranged properly, the level of difficulty is more or less the same. All right, the, there are no errors in the question, no bonus. So it needs to be a very, very smooth process. Every year there are some minor incidents, even that has to be, you know, uh, let go of. This committee will make re recommendations on all the processes and the mechanism and the improvements in data security, structure and functioning. It's not just security, it's also the structure of the exam and the functioning of NT. A which conducts your J examination. Some of you will be like, sir, J advance, no problem, right? Maybe, may not be. Let me tell you, although IITs are majorly involved or the central authority for IIT J advance, it's the NTA which provides the infrastructure which actually 
does the uh, conduction of the exams. So understand that NTA is even involved in J advance. Some of you might not know it. This will submit the report within two months. This happened couple of days back. Sp expect something major to happen. At least the changes which will be proposed by July end or August uh, first few weeks. That is what the timeline which is being expected. Now, what happened in the last few days is some bold statements being made in public in some interviews and to some reporters. First one, Dharmendra Pradhan, who is our education minister, who said that India needs a flexible, less stressful examination system. In fact, I'll show you the news article. It's right over here in today's uh, Times of India. You can see it right over here. And other examinations may be inspired from J. And in fact, even J might be inspired from something called as SAT. You might have heard of SAT, which is an examination to take admission in foreign universities, especially the US. And who conducts the SAT exam? It is the ETS. ETS is like NTA. SAT is like J. Got it? J is the exam name. So SAT is the exam name. NTA is the body which conducts the exam. So ETS conducts the exam. Okay, and what is so special about this SAT exam is that it is conducted multiple times. Let's say in June, you want to give the exam, you can give it. July, yes. August, yes. There is an admission deadline for the college. Before that, deadlines, you have to give the exam. You can give multiple times. You can give it, you know, as many times as you want. There is no harm in that whenever you are prepared. And it is conducted online. And let me tell you, Many, many students give this SAT exam and it is conducted at many, many places. So, this is a not a small examination. It's a very, very big examination. In fact, I will show you the numbers also in a bit. So, they are inspired by SAT, which is a very, very prominent known examination at a very large scale. Now, what changes are we expecting? First of all, the exam will be conducted online only. Not just J, but other examinations also, whichever are there, which are conducted by NTA. Whichever NTA exams are there, they want to eliminate paper-based examinations completely. They want to make it completely online. And J being having a very good track record. In fact, even in COVID, the J means exam happened four times without many problems, which is a big thing considering it was COVID. A lot of resources were restricted. So even then, NDA did a fairly good job during that time. So if they could do a good job during that time and that too in J, why not in other exams? Why other exams are having the problem? That is what the committee is investigating. In fact, there is a CBI inquiry which is going on right now in all the scam which happened in the NEET and NEET, uh, uh, you know, other examinations like uh, Yes, net and all of that. But J was not much affected. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, what might happen is, just like said, J mains might happen multiple times. Just imagine you can give J mains in December. And you are like, sir, I need two months for board preparation. I am fully prepared. Why should I waste my time till January end? I am prepared. I give the exam in December. Nicely, I prepare for boards. And then, oh, my score was not great. I'll give it in April. Uh, my score was not that great. Maybe I, again, I give it in May. Who knows? They might give multiple attempts like that. Or maybe you take a drop and you're like, sir, you know what? I was in the flow and I understood these chapters were left out. So I covered those chapters and I want to give the exam in August. You give the exam in August and you join the program next year. You might be wondering what I will do for one year. You can do an internship. You can do some social cause. You can do some course. You can take some online degree. So many things you can do. You can use that time effectively rather than wasting studying for one whole year. Sometimes things can be done in a shorter duration. So it's a positive move. I mean, the best of the scores will be taken. The tests will be pretty much standardized. The test difficulty level will be maintained. If all these things happen, it is a very, very positive move, which is probably going to happen. Also, the intake of the program will be fixed. Exam will be conducted many times, just like the SAT. SAT exam is conducted for 15 to 20 lakh students, which is more than the J number. If you see, J number is slightly less than that. So it is definitely 
something which can be replicated in India and we have so many software engineers, we have all kinds of scientists over here. So definitely it can be implemented given sufficient time, sufficient infrastructure of course. Now one major hurdle which will happen for this is if all the examinations are conducted during the same time, the test centers need to be booked much before, all right? And the examinations will happen in multiple shifts. So it's going to be quite a hassle to actually allocate those resources throughout that examination period. How they are going to do that? That is something which the committee will decide. It might also happen that few exams, they might collaborate. They might probably think there is no need of these two examinations. They can happen like one single examination. All right. So all these recommendations might come. Be prepared. Okay. In the future. Changes are very likely to happen as early as 2025, but those changes will be very minor because J mains first attempt will happen in January. So the brochure, everything, all the preparations should happen by October, November. So that leaves a very limited time window for the announcements to happen. So expect minor changes, maybe instead of two, they might say three attempts, not more than that. But apart from that, don't expect any major changes for 2025. But 2026, yes, expect many changes. They will also make sure that the paper leak does not happen, cheating does not happen, like using of artificial intelligence. I'll tell you how smart students are these days. These are not smart. I would call them cheaters. Should I tell you or not? I'm not so sure. But there have been instances where, imagine, a student is there. Let's call the student Pandu. He wants to avoid writing the exam and wants to send Shreyas sir to write the examination. Why? Because Shreyas sir knows very nice physics, everything. No problem. So what Pandu will tell me, and there is a nice organization which does all these uh, malpractices. They will click the photo of Pandu. They will click my photo also. They will merge the two photographs using softwares. And then it will be a combined photo, which looks like me also, which looks like Pandu also. So now imagine when Pandu goes to the examination hall, the invigilator will see the photo. Hi, the photo looks like Pandu. If I go to the examination hall, the photo will resemble me also because the photo has been modified. So softwares are there. So this is the level of malpractices which happens, which is basically impersonation. And they pay lakhs of rupees for this to happen. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of it. So using softwares, this leakage, impersonation, cheating, everything can stop. Major changes, obviously, for 2026, 2025, minor changes. Exam syllabus and difficulty will stay intact. Don't worry about it. It's not like suddenly the exam is very easy, very difficult. No, they will, in fact, standardize and variations in the shifts will be minimal. If the exam has to be conducted multiple times, so you cannot have one shift very hard, one shift very low. Okay, so you need to standardize it. Pattern may change slightly. Like for example, they might say instead of having 25 questions, make it 20 questions or make it 30 questions. Or they might incorporate some additional subject. This is also needed for this particular thing. Or they might give higher weightage to mathematics. So all these minor changes may happen. We need to see that. But whatever happens, we need to be told before much in advance it won't happen suddenly oh january exam is there the brochure suddenly printed this is the pattern change no it will happen much before so don't worry about it so what should you do now you should continue your preparation because see whatever is the case whether it happens two times three times one time you still have to study the entire syllabus no doubt about it so continue with your standard preparation but complete it by october maximum november don't extend it beyond that I have given you the complete schedule for how to complete the syllabus on time, number one. Number two, also make sure that you are staying uh, updated and you are not listening to rumors. Suddenly, you might see a rumor on Telegram or on WhatsApp, exam, J means will happen in this, J means will happen in that. Don't believe those rumors. Once it is official, I only will come personally and tell you. If it is not official, some other YouTube channel might make thousands of videos, they might give get lakhs of views. I will still not make that video if I feel that it is not genuine. If I feel that that might not happen. So only when something is proper, we will come and inform you. Otherwise, we will not do it for views. Please understand that. 
all right so make sure you are liking and subscribing and meanwhile many of you might be interested to study in vedantu so let me tell you my dear warriors in the description box of this particular video even the chat box i think there is a pinned message there is a form link over here you will see right in the description box okay fill out the form for admission inquiries so maybe you are a 11th student maybe you are a 12th student you want to study online offline depending on whichever grade you are whichever uh, exam you want to study all right you can fill this form our counselors will get in touch with you for the upcoming either test series or the batches which are coming for droppers for 12th for 11th online offline we have 20 plus offline centers spread across the country batches are running in full strength full amazing amazing enthusiasm and if you want to take the full advantage fill this form you can just do inquiry that's all i'm not saying you join the batch now i'm just asking you fill this form and see what is in store for you you never know there is a big surprise all right so fill up this form and just talk to the counselors to get the counseling for your preparation for the examination all right so this was the major major announcement my dear warriors stay updated and just keep studying your uh, your syllabus complete your entire portion by october whatever happens we will adapt accordingly and prepare you for that examination whether it happens two times whether it is difficult whether the number of questions increase we will change our mock test we will change our strategy as per that so stay tuned stay updated smash the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you so much captain Shreya signing off as